Hi guys, do you want to go ahead and self host your, your own personal party instance? For example, mine, social channel dev. You want to go ahead and host your own. So well, this guide is for you. I'm going to show you how to set up a Sharky instance. And in this guide and series, I will show you how to personalize your Sharky instance to your liking. I'll be recreating this instance, by the way, on a local machine. Sharky is a Fediverse software. Uh, the Fediverse is basically a decentralized social network of servers. So Sharky is one of the P one of the softwares and it's decentralized social platform which you can use forever. And in this guide, I'm going to show you how to set this up, start up your own instance, and get it to work. So to begin, we need to navigate to the official repository, which is on activity of the software slash transform dash org slash Sharky. So here we have the our key software, and so what we need to do is we actually do not need to clone the repository here. Scroll down and find a file called compose.example.yml. So here you can see a text file with a lot of configuration, a lot of it's commented out here. But the main part is that we have a web redis and db part. This is obviously Sharky. Now essentially all you got to do is download this file. We're going to make a new folder and put it into this folder. Now let's go ahead and rename this to compose. And let's open it up so we can configure some stuff inside of this file. With this we probably don't need to modify anything although with one thing I would do uncomment image and comment out build because we're gonna download the image from the internet and not build our own. And another thing you're gonna need to set up is gonna be the configuration files. So let's go ahead and make a new folder. Let's call it .config. Inside of the shark repository, go ahead and click on the config folder. Inside of here, we have a docker example, the ymod docker example DMV file. So checking here, we have some configuration that's mostly commented out. So you're going to pull and download this file, copy it here. We also need the env file here. So we name the configuration file default yml. Inside of the default yml file, we have a URL. So you're going to go ahead and change this from example.tld to a, to a server. So for our purpose here, I'm just going to go ahead and use localhost. This is one, of, one other important thing is custom MOTD. You can uncomment this and, and you can add, add stuff here to show up on the loading screen. Now that we have configured this, we can start up our server. The easiest way to start up our server is to just open up a command prompt. Uh, or terminal instead of the folder with Sharky and run the compose up. So I'm not going to go ahead and specify dash e so we can see terminal output. And now what it's going to do is download everything. Okay, so it's starting up now and there is your Sharky instance running. Now what I'm going to do is go into localhost on 3000 and notice that we have a welcome to Sharky screen now. So you can ignore image password, so we're going to go ahead and create an MLD channel user with a really secure password and there you go so now let's you can configure our profile i'm gonna upload the profile picture let's use this is so the display name and a bio i am really chan a youtuber leave this by default we don't have any users on our instance because this is a new one you may notice that push notifications are currently unsupported that require to be set up through the control panel now we can close this we have our Basic localhost shark instance. You can check out your profile. You can see the MOTD appears when loading. And as you can see, the custom mode, this is an MOTD appears as well. So now, as you have created another account, you're going to need to go to the control panel to configure most stuff here. So there's a lot of things that I recommend setting up. So we're going to configure maintainer information. So instance name, MLD chan social, short name, MLD. Instance description, MLD chance localhost instance. Maintainer, of course, it's me. Put in your email. Right, that works. I'm going to save this. Another thing you can do is you can pin users. So I'm going to go ahead and put my username. Uh, on files, you can go ahead and configure caching. So if you want to go ahead and save copies of images on your server, go ahead and turn this on. Over here, you can configure the notifications. Now you just have to turn this on and it will ask you for a public and private key. So we're going to go ahead and get the VAPID key generator. So these are actually publicly available. So over here, uh, you have to kind of go to the API because the cross-origin policy denied it. So 
I'm going to click on the API link. I get a public and private key. This is always random. Make sure that you just go ahead and copy the public key, paste into public key, and also paste in private key. Save this, and now your push notifications should work. Now, for the first time to configure your push notifications, you got to go to your notification settings, find notifications, scroll all the way down, and enable them, and allow. On other settings, you can turn on and off achievements instance wide. You can set up ads on here, so that's going to be another video. URL preview, so you, if you turn this on, it will use your server, and whenever you post a link, it will go ahead and generate an embed for it. We're going to show that later. You can configure stuff like the user agent, federation, so you can configure federation, turn it off, specify a host, a list of hosts to federate with, and all. Leaving this on none for this code. Another thing we're going to configure is branding. So over here you can configure things like the icon URL. So if you want to go ahead and host this, just go ahead and upload it to your drive. Then go ahead and right click and copy the URL to this and paste it in here. And now you can just paste it in all these fields and logo URL. And now if you paste, if you save it and refresh, our branding is applied. Now it does not load for localhost, it should load. You can configure things like the banner in the background, the default like emoji. So if if you want a custom emoji, you can configure this here. So you can also configure images for the different errors. The instance sticker color is what shows up on other instances, so it's like a little small banner. So I'm going to change that to a bright green. You can configure mm -hmm. themes for instance white. So if you want a instance white theme, just go ahead and make one and you can put it in here. I'm going to make a video on that too. Underneath moderation, you can set up account creation. So here, if you want to make your instance public, turn this on. Require approval of new users, you can ask for approval by uh, by reason, so for a reason for registration and then approve it as a moderator. You can configure server rules. Reserved username, so if you want the username and keep it without someone stealing it, you can do that there. You can here configure blocked instances, silence instances. Now, the difference between blocked and silence is that basically if an instance is blocked, it cannot interact with you. If it's silenced, they can still interact with you. And people can follow the instance uses users and stuff like this, but it won't show up inside of your home feed. You can prohibit words from being posted on, on the in your platform. So if you're if you're a moderator, you can change that. On the under the email servers, so if you got email servers, you can configure SMTP. The under bot protection, if you got one of these, you can configure. If you're using something like Cloudflare to host your instance, you can use Cloud Turnstile to verify. So go ahead and also. You can configure active email validation. I'm going to turn it off because I don't have an FTP, uh, a mail server. And you can turn on logging of IP addresses. You can go ahead and configure our DPL translation under external services. You can turn on DPL. Under your performance, you can configure things like publishing the server hardware stats. So when you turn this on, it will go ahead and let you add a widget about server performance, so server metrics. It will actually show up this when you turn on publish server hardware stats. We've got some MISCI features, which I'm not going to go through here, but yeah, this is the performance tab if your server is underperforming. And under management, you can find things like users. You can invite people if you've got an invite only instance. By default, any instance that isn't, uh, that isn't open is by default invite only. You can't turn off registration entirely. You can make an invite only instances. Here you can approve people if you have, uh, Registration reason on. And if here you can go ahead and configure the role template. So in here, I would recommend one thing and turn off usage of node server. And that's it. And then you draw the role template. You don't need to create any roles. Here you can upload custom emoji. So by default, if you download an emoji pack like Neocat, you can upload it here by using the three dots and upload import. And if you avatar decorations, you can upload avatar decoration. All you gotta do is just go ahead and name it, paste the image URL. So again, what you can do is you can open your drive, copy the URL here and paste it in here. It would load, but I guess nothing loads here. Under your federation, you can check what servers you're federating with. Files will show everything, including system files. You can create an announcement if you need one. Advertisements, so you can you can make advertisements. You can you can pick reports. And moderation looks so as you can see here, we're changing settings. So, a lot of server settings updated. Now that your instance is configured, uh, 
you can go ahead and open it to the internet and communicate so you can post notes. Notice how it's already here. With that usage of node search enabled, we can actually go ahead and search. So yeah, there it is. We make a search for hi, and there's our post 10 seconds ago. Obviously, we can reply to it. So with the federation, it would actually show up the uh, post on other servers. So let me show you that how that works. So over here, I'm going to go ahead and make a meow post. So as you can see, I meowed, and we're going to go on transcend.social which is a different server. And notice how there's meow right there. And we can like it, we received a like here. So notice how our server is federating with transfem. So that is federation. So we can like our posts here. As you can see, the default mode of transgender flag that I chose is there. And yeah, the other short instance is basically up. Now what about restarting? Well, our data still persists. So if I turn this off, and then I basically pull it up again, and we give it a few seconds to start up. There we go. Sharky is starting up. And now it's listening. So when it's listening, we can refresh. Notice how everything is still here. Clearing our login at the Malichan at localhost timeline here. Yeah, that's for this that's it for this video. And as you can see, even after we start the server, we noticed that our server information is actually being published here. But yeah, it's showing our CPU usage. And if we do some stuff like scrolling really quickly. We would actually see the CPU spike a little bit, but because my computer is fast, we won't actually see that here. So yeah, that's it for this configuration for your basic configuration of your Sharky software. Thank you for watching and goodbye.